Hey y'all, it's the Southern Woods here, and welcome to the Southern Woods Movies Review, the first episode after the series premiere. Today I'll be reviewing two movies, one, Venom, and two, the second Venom, Let There Be Carnage, that I just saw in theaters. So first we'll start with Venom, which I saw for the first time uh, the day before I saw Venom 2, so both of them are fresh on my mind. Um, I really liked the first Venom. Uh, when it comes to the acting and characters, I give it a 4.7 out of 5, so about a 95 an A. I think um, Tom Hardy did a pretty good job at doing Venom. Um, the dude who played Drake, the evil guy in the movie, um, I think it was, he was pretty solid too. Uh, he really made you hate him in the movie right off the bat. He just sort of got that vibe. And all the supporting characters were pretty uh, pretty solid as well. I enjoyed the acting. I enjoyed the characters very much. Um, when it came to the plot, I gave it a 4.6 out of 5. So about an, a 90, uh, 92. Um, so an, an A as well. Uh, I thought the plot was pretty decent. Um, I don't want to ruin it too much for um, anyone who hasn't watched it. But... I think the plot was decent. I mean, there wasn't too many curveballs, but it, it was somewhat unique. And it paid homage to the comics a little bit. So, um, that was alright. The ending was, in my opinion, the worst part of the movie. But it was still solid. I gave it a 4.5. So, a 90 out of 100. Um, it was a solid ending. Can't complain too much. Not the best ending ever, but I think most people would be happy with it. And then I gave the um, the atmosphere and visuals a 4.6 out of 5, so another 92. Very good visuals. Um, the CGI was on point in this movie. Um, the audio, uh, all the sounds in the movie were pretty good as well. Um, I enjoyed it very much. Um, moving on finally to my overall enjoyment of the movie. This is the best part of the movie to me. Uh, I gave it a, a 4.8, I believe. I really enjoyed this movie. I had fun. I laughed. It was cool. I didn't look at my uh, phone at all, I don't believe. So uh, that, was, that was the best part of the movie. So altogether, I give Venom, the first one, a 93.2% out of 100. That's pretty good. Um, one of the better movie scores I've done so far. I think it's second place behind Fear Street Part 3. Um but as I said before, just because I give it a really high score, that just means how good of a movie I think it is. It doesn't necessarily mean that, you know, I really like the movie or it's my favorite. Um, but in this case, it is. I really like Venom, and I gave it a very high score. I gave it a solid A. So that is the first Venom. Now I will review Venom 2, the new one, which most people are probably, you know, here to see. Um, Let There Be Carnage. All right, so Venom 2 let there be carnage um do i like the second venom off the bat better than the first one i'm gonna say no but just barely slightly um and i guess you'll see why you'll see why when it comes to the the acting and characters i give it a 4.5 out of 5 so a 90 percent which is a little bit less than the first venom um and most of the main characters except the bad guys are in there um, and I'm not saying Woody Harrelson did bad at all. I love Woody Harrelson. He's one of my top five favorite actors. But, I don't know, I, for part of me liked the actual person bad guy in the first Venom just a little bit more. I despised him more, which I think is a better thing. But when it comes to the actual symbiote, I think Carnage is a hell of a lot better than Riot. Uh, Carnage was really, um really nice to enjoy carnage is one of my favorite uh comic or mcu uh villains anyway so moving on to the plot this was i think the worst part of the movie or worst category in my opinion i gave it a 4.3 out of 5 so about an 86 um a b and the plot isn't necessarily bad but I don't know, I feel like there's just uh, some things left missing that you sort of question throughout the movie, and um, 
the premise isn't as deep. It's a uh, kind of vague. It's you know you can kind of tell it's almost a revenge love sort of thing. And I don't know. There's not there's not many curveballs at all. Just like the first Venom, but I feel like there was a lot less um, depth into the plot in this movie. Um, going on to the ending, though, I gave that a 4.5 out of 5, so a 90. Um, the ending I was a little bit less enjoyable with. Um, I just, I don't know, because you'll have to see it for yourself. I still like the ending, and yeah, you know, 90 is a good score, but just not as much as the first Venom. Uh, moving on to the atmosphere and visuals, I gave that a, uh, I believe I gave that a 4.7. So I think that was the best part of this movie. The atmospheres and visuals were very good, just like the first Venom. When it comes to pure visuals, I wanna say the first Venom is slightly better, but when it comes to the audio part of it, I think the Venom 2 Let There Be Carnage edges it out. So it's about the same. Um, uh, Let There Be Carnage is just a, a very great visual and audio movie overall so good score and then finally my overall enjoyment is a 4.5 out of 5 so 0.2 lower than uh the first venom i enjoyed it i i don't think i laughed as much um and i think i may have checked my my phone once um it's, it's the action's good you know it's a great movie and I, I just i didn't think it was as funny in my opinion maybe but that's just me. But overall, Venom 2 Let There Be Carnage gets a 90% out of 100. Still an A. Still a great score. Both of them are great movies. I definitely recommend seeing Venom 2 Carnage in theaters if you can. I don't know when this video will be out. Hopefully, Venom 2 will still be in theaters by the time this video is out. But with my schedule, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I recommend both. Very good scores for both of them. And they were great movies. Southern Woods out.